Now that we have this GPT-5 model available in Microsoft 365 Copilot, which can do this chain of thought reasoning, the most frequent and frankly quite reasonable question I've seen is, why would we ever use the researcher agent? What is the difference between these two things? So I am going to take you through it with a real life practical example. I'm going to start here in the GPT-5 experience and then we'll switch over to the researcher and show the difference. So this is my chat. What I need to do here to use that new model is click here. If you're not across the GPT-5 model, check out this other video. It's only six minutes long. Come back here and, and, and see where we're at. So let's say I need to do something. I need to put something in here to trigger the chain of thought reasoning that requires some kind of complexity or thought process. Let's try this prompt. Help me prepare a strategy to present to our senior leadership team on how we can plan for a project. You'll see what I'm doing here is including in the prompt a few things that give it a little bit of structure that is helpful to the chain of thought reasoning in GPT-5 because it is very good at kind of following that type of plan and thinking it through. So you'll see I'm winning. I've put in a prompt here that does require that level of complexity. So it goes through this thought process, planning an internal strategy, creating a detailed plan. This is using the work tab. I've actually got the Microsoft Copilot Studio implementation deck in my SharePoint, in my demo environment. So that's something that hopefully it will figure out that it can refer to as well as public things. So it's searching for various things, assessing business case details, planning research. It's picking up some recent other things out there. So you'll see it's kind of taking itself through a thought process of actually quite an impressive amount of stuff. I thought it would just refer to that document, but it's going through quite a lot of things. All right, so here's a leadership ready strategy for me to take to the SLT. Here's my executive narrative, what we're proposing and why, why now? I always like to use examples that I know what the correct answer should be because then I can <laughs> sense check it. And if you're not a Copilot Studio expert, uh, trust me, these are reasonable. It's a reasonable starting point. So here we go, 90 days to pilot. So we've got foundations, design. Okay, so you'll see the level of this risk and register mitigations. Okay, it goes on and on. Deliverables, a few notes, quick next steps. And there we go, it has referenced that wonderful document that we had in there. Now, what I can do here is take it to that next level. I was actually going to say, I just want an executive summary of this thing. So this is using chain of thought reasoning in a way that is still keeping it at a very uh, practical kind of productivity type of level. If I ask a follow-up question, importantly, draft a one-page executive summary, I could have typed in anything I liked, but I just clicked one of those, those prompts. It's able to keep the context in this multi-turn conversation. It picks up that chain of thought reasoning again, but you'll see it doesn't start from the start again. You can might see where I'm going to go with the research agent in a minute, but it actually just kind of brings out those next things that it needs to be able to do. And um, it is putting in my different things in here. There we go. There's my one pager. Now I can grab that, copy that, put it into wherever I like. Let's go over to our friend, the researcher agent here. The researcher agent is a whole other level. I'm going to put the prompt in um, because it usually takes its time and I might, might pause the video. We'll see how we go. It will always first come back with clarifying questions, which are, um, usually just kind of more annoying than anything, to be honest. But if you think about what it's doing here, <clears throat> this is something that is designed to do deep research. So if you are really going deep on a subject, this is going to give you that depth, whereas the other one is using a logical step-by-step -step thought process to help you in more of an everyday scenario. Essentially, how much depth do you want? Do you want like an academic level board paper assessment of a situation or do you just want a really good kind of response that is enough to get you moving? I have found in, in my work that the researcher agents so far have had one or two use cases where I found it's really, really good. I'm using it for, I don't do research in my job, but often I need to do learning and understanding things and 
it's helpful to give me kind of a really almost like producing a paper for me to learn from. But if I just want to get something done, honestly, it's too much. <laughs> so let's watch what it's doing. So firstly, you can see I'm still running live here. I'm, as I said, I may pause. I'll let you know if I pause. So it starts out kind of with a research mentality. I need to look into Copilot Studio, whereas the other one started with planning this, thinking about that. You could see it kind of going through very practical kind of step-by-step -step chain of thought tasks. This one, I'm looking into it, particularly its capabilities and features. We'll see how it goes. And you'll see that as it works through the research, it is really going much deeper. I am going to pause the video for a second and I will I'll come back when it comes back with the next answer. This is about 30 seconds, 40 seconds later. Now it's saying I'm looking into best practices and it's still thinking. This is genuinely go away, <laughs> get a cup of tea type research. Again, I'm going to pause and come back. And starting to speed up again now, probably another 45 seconds to a minute. It's now starting to click through some other things where it's found some other piece focusing on these things. So again, this is going much deeper just to sort of switch you back to what, remind you what this one did, planning a strategy, creating a plan, searching, accessing details. This one has gone kind of stepping like way back into the wider world. Uh, again, we'll pause and come back. All right, again, about another 40 seconds or so. So it's taking 30 or 40 seconds each time to work through these things. I'm reviewing this. I'm gathering that. Every now and again, I'll get a couple of other things. You can see here it's now kind of looking externally to sort of different blogs and external resources from various other things a little bit more than it did before. Pausing again. Another minute or so. We're up to about four minutes elapsed since I started this now preparing ROI, mapping an outline. Okay, it feels like we might be getting somewhere. Pause again. Okay, I think we're getting close now. We're getting to refining the strategy by consolidating the milestone steps. While this is going, you can see that this is not a quick, this is not a quick thing and the output is going to be enormous. I was a bit lazy with my prompt here. You actually can ask it to be more concise. Like you could say, please give me a 500 word report or no more than two pages or something, because by default, it is going to come back with a massive research paper, uh, which is what it's designed to do and why I wanted to show it to you that way. Here we go. We're now expanding sections. So you can see it's picking up on the specific things I've asked for. Again, you, 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 I'm just going to pause and let it finish. <laughs> All right, I was an optimist. That has been nine minutes. I'm very glad I didn't leave the video running. I almost always, when I use this, I go away and do something else because sitting waiting for it is honestly very tedious. But here we go. This is exhaustive. This is going to have, you know, gone through so many more resources and so many of the other ones. But honestly, it's taken nine minutes and not nine seconds. So you'll see we've got something that is the output here is more like a research paper. So unless I've specified something else from it, which you can do, the output here was very much just like something that I can copy and paste and use and whatever it's giving me information to assist what I'm doing. This is designed as an actual kind of usable output. So here we go. Here's It's given me the strategy as a paper. Here's my introduction. We've got some lovely little, I do like this part of it actually gives you these lovely kind of cards and things in here, which you can copy or, you know, work with. We have got project objectives, overview of capabilities. I'm not going to read all of these things out, but you'll see we've got these little pieces in here. So part of the thought process, as it was going through it, it was actually starting to go, how should I structure this? What should I put in the containers? So it's starting to pull all of those kinds of things out as well. It's still generating. Do you see the difference? I hope you see the difference. It is quite it is quite substantial. And once you've tried this, and honestly, the best way to learn this is exactly what I'm doing here. Pick something that needs some kind of thought process and test it both ways. And you will see very quickly which is the right one and which is the which is the wrong one, because this is like a full research paper output. The other one is just giving me a quick and easy answer to work with. You can 
if you go back and forth, I don't want to kind of, I'm going to leave it running here, but you can go back and forth. I've got them in different tabs here. You'll see what happens in this conversations. This is a collapsible conversation history on the side that it actually creates them as two separate conversations. And if you click back into this one, you'll go back in here. I'm not going to do it because it's still going now, but if you want to go back over the history and you want to get back, when you click on that, it will take you back into that researcher response uh, and continue working in the researcher agent. And on and on it goes. Look at this. I think it's almost done. All right. That probably gives you a, um, a good point. I have found, let me just kind of do this and see what happens. I have found, though, that if I do a follow-up prompt, it tends to start all over again. Maybe that's improved since the last time I tried it. I always want to kind of see how these things go, but it, it doesn't just kind of automatically come back with that sort of natural conversation. Here we go, beginning research. So it actually sort of goes through that research process. I'm done with this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait for it to do it again. So in summary, then if you just want reasoning that is very practical, step by step by step reasoning through the problem and here's an output with an ongoing conversation this gpt5 is your friend if you really want to go deep if you really want to do exhaustive research across all the sources this is not just doing step by step chain of thought it's actually doing like autonomous planning and thinking and going much wider and, and deeper but you you really have to want that output and genuinely always go away and wait for it I will answer any other questions I can. Pop them in the comments. Thanks as always for watching.